So if you're having digestive issues and you're not really sure where it's coming from, or maybe they've been there for a long period of time, then you might just be suffering with histamine sensitivity. Hey, I'm Trevor Jacuti from SpineWise, and I wanna to talk to you about histamine sensitivity and the effect it may have on your gut and why you should be looking at it right now. Uh, if you're new to our videos, please like, um, like our videos. Uh, if you can, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on Facebook notifications. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest information that we release out of our office in order to keep you up to date with the latest in health care. All right, so let's talk about histamine and what it really does. Because histamine, we, we generally associate histamine with immune responses. Uh, and this is what's responsible for things like hay fever and things like this. But there's a broader aspect to histamine that most people aren't aware of. And one of the big links to that is histamine really does inhibit a substance called stomatostatin. Okay, that's it there, stomatostatin. And this is a really, really important substance within the human body because it has a broad range of primarily inhibitory, calming, switching off effects that are really, really, really critical for us. So let's have a look through. So it has an inhibitory effect on the, on the stomach acid, on the emptying of your stomach, on pancreatic bicarbonate, on um, blood flow through your entire digestive system, uh, on bile flow, on the gut hormones, uh, gastrin and secretion, on the actual motility, the movement of the gut, and on vasoactive intestinal peptide are really, really important. VIP has some profound effects on, uh, on function, really, really important stuff. So if we switch off uh, stomatostatin, so as we increase histamine, we reduce stomatostatin. So what does that really mean? When it comes to gut stuff, one of the, well, the first thing that's obvious is if you reduce the inhibition, inhibition of your gastric acid, um, your stomach acid levels change as well. So this is reducing this, Therefore, if we drop stomatostatin down, we can start increasing uh, our stomach acid. So it has this effect on stomach acid. We have the same thing with stomach emptying. So we reduce stomatostatin, we um, increase stomach emptying. So now we have less time in contact with the peptides, uh, or the enzymes I should say, and acid in order to stimulate the digestive system. And the result of this, of course, is um, absorption problems within the gut itself. Same thing when it comes to blood flow, we're having changes in blood flow, and this potentially can affect uh, our digestive issues, enzyme production, and things like this as well. So we can see something like high histamine really does have a profound effect on the entire gastrointestinal system simply by altering the way somatostatin works. So what are some of the things we see from this? Okay, so. The obvious ones, headaches, migraine, congestion is a really common one. People get really uh, blocked up all the time. Uh, fatigue is a very common one. And part of this fatigue is the insomnia that comes with it. So histamine is actually a neurotransmitter within the brain as such, uh, and it can lead to neural excitation patterns, and this can keep you awake at night. Uh, skin rashes, especially hives, uh, menstrual irregularities, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea and with these things we can also put in things like reflux and indigestion which we see from changes in stomach acid production and and valvular changes as well with that and even changes in your blood pressure can be part of this so really really important thing that we don't just think histamine we think of hay fever and sneezing and coughing all of these things can be tied in with it and remember chronic diarrhea can also be a result of this type of stuff um, food sensitivity problems, the problems digesting foods can all be part of this process of what we're seeing here. All right, so some of the things that you can look at. So the first thing is that there's a pathway within the liver called methylation that we've spoken about in terms of your brain health and neurotransmitter production. Methylation is important, again, for the switching off of histamine, the, the decoding of it and the elimination of it. So making sure our methylation pathways are good. And this is primarily a B12 folate B3 type reaction. Uh, betaine is another one that's commonly used, or trimethylglycine is another one that's often used in that pathway. Air purification, so if we reduce the stimulation to histamine, reduce the air particles, that can have an effect for some people as well. Moving towards a lower histamine diet or, or avoiding um, high histamine foods, 
Uh, and these are things like alcohol and fermented products, some of our citrus fruits, these type of things. And you can find a whole list of those things online. Um, supplementation. So there are some supplements or, or, some, or some products that do have natural antihistamine effects. So stuff like vitamin C, vitamin D, quercetin is a really good one that does this. And even the herb turmeric is another one that has that effect as well. In addition to methylation, there's another process for elimination, um, which is part of what we call the DAO. And if we stimulate this mechanism uh, of DAO, we can actually improve elimination of histamine as well. And one of the big ways we do that is by saturated fat and monounsaturated fat. So things like olive oil, coconut oil, these type of things can potentially have a stimulatory effect on, on DAO as well. So there's a few um, little brief introduction into uh, histamine and the effect and why histamine may actually be causing your stomach problems and your digestive issues. If you have any issues and you're looking for help and you want uh, some more advice, just pop up what you're having issues with. I'm happy to get in contact with you and have a quick chat. Uh, otherwise, you're welcome to DM me or PM me anytime you want and I'm always there with my team to help you in any way we can. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next vid. Bye for now.